Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. There is a lot that is happening in this country that uh, a common citizen cannot really detect what is happening. And um, I want to say, I don't want to predict, but uh, there's something I'm going to share in this video. So that as a Kenyan, you are able to understand where we are coming from and where we are going to. Like now, the marriage between William Ruto and Rigadi Gashawa happened at a point when no one knew that the two will marry. There is no Kenyan who expected Rigadi Gashawa to become the deputy president. If there are people who we were speculating, in fact, Rigadi was coming in number last in the people we thought could deputize William Samoy Ruto. But then, it reached a point that William Ruto has no choice. Why? Because of the huge cash support he received from Rigadi Gashawa. So, mukisikia Rigadi Gashawa kizungumza mambo ya shares. Inye muna fikiria tu anaungea. Shares Rigadi anazungumzia is the number of billions he injected into William Ruto's campaign. And this is the kind of shares he's talking about. Ukisikia Rigadi akisema wale watu hamuna shares ya mutapewa nafasi. Wa Kenya hamuelewi. Rigadi alipeana pesa mingi sana. Wa campaign ya William Ruto. Na hii ilimfanya William Ruto to have no choice. Because Rigadi had begun to threaten him. Kwamba I will pull out my resources. So Ruto had no choice. Akasema ni sawa mzee ni meti kwa sababu umeleta pesa ni sawa ikakuwa hivyo now hawa watu they didn't unite because they were reading from the same page hawa watu they came together because of money rigadi and ruto didn't unite because they share the same ideologies they did not come together because they share the same vision. Ruto had a vision. Rigadi had money. So, and in any government, you must have something to show for you to be considered for a particular position. Now, this is what is happening. I want to be very categorical and keep this message for future reference. The marriage between William Ruto and Rigad Gashawa is at stake. This marriage will end with premium tears. I'm speaking this with a lot of confidence. You take it or leave it. Why am I saying this? Rigad is committed at humiliating and destroying William Ruto. How? By leaking confidential government information to the public. Ruto is annoyed. Na hawa watu unajua, tayari wamekosana state house leo. As I'm speaking, tayari hawa majamaa wa wili. Wamekosana state house today. Sio siku ingine. Leo, 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 leo. Kila mtu amefura ameenda zake. They are not agreeing. They are not sharing. Why? Regard is committed by all means possible to paint William Ruto negatively. Ni maombi sio uchawi. Azimio waliombe wakasema Mungu wachanganye kwa ndimi na maongezi na Mungu ameanza kuwachanganya. Nimeona azimio wakifanya maombi kwa comment section since tuanza campaign. Wamesema ni sawa kwa sababu sasa wamechukua 
Sasa Mungu tunaomba wachanganya wasielewane and it's happening the two guys are not reading from the same script totally as william ruto is building an image to go investors regardi anasema kenya is broke a truthful man regardi anasema serikali haina pesa imesota <laughs> Yaani this guy is is up. Na unajua constitution inasema constitution inasema listen to me very clear. The constitution of Kenya says in case the president is incapacitated to perform or to hold office the deputy president takes over as a president. And in case the president dies the deputy president is sworn in as the president do not ask me kaka the meaning of that statement now let's gentlemen hata kama ruto ni mubaya kiasi gani muombe president sana sana mumuombe mumuombe sana And let me say this. Vitu Rigadi anafanya it does them against the wish of William Samoe Ruto. Wakati anaenda kuattack Uhuru Kenyatta. Ruto being a state being the face of the Kenya. Najua azimio sometimes you may you may disagree with me but I'm presenting facts. Kuna vitu Rigadi anafanya zenye zinamkasirisha William Ruto. Kwa mfano, it is Rigadi funding the destruction of Jubilee against the wish of William Samoe Ruto. Gashawa is fighting Uhuru so that Ruto can be seen negatively from other countries as a person who is fighting retired state officers na rigadi yeye wakati anasema is a truthful man ni kweli afichi yeye akiona kuna makosa kwa serikali anachukua microphone na anatangaza kanya muzima ni kweli yeye afichangi That, that's true rigadi akisema is a truthful man anamaanisha ni kweli hafichi anything Yeye akiona makosa microphone tangaza So these guys have exposed William Ruto to an extent that William Ruto is now fed up and wants to take revenge That is why William Ruto is trying as much as possible kuweka mtu yao kwa positions Hata kwa polisi I have always told you the police itself is divided That is why much of the information is leaking to Azimio. They are divided. Hawaelewani wenyewe. Polisi hawaelewani. As we speak right now, Kome has zero powers. Kome hana nguvu. Ruto has empowered Bungei. Gashawa wamekuwa kizungumza na Kome. Lakini Ruto ameempower nao Bungei to render Kome powerless. In the past regime of Jubilee, we know how powerful a PS for interior was. Karanja Kibijo. Yule ndiye alikuwa deep state yenyewe. Lakini kwa hii regime ya Kenya kwanza, tuko na PS Omolo who is a flower girl in that ministry with zero powers. Zero It can influence little. It does nothing. Zero powers. And I want to say this. Going forward, Gashawa is going to get zero positions in this government. Kwa nini? Ruto wants to seal information. 
Ruto wants to block all the windows that are leaking government information. That is why we are kibrono. That is why we are kipichirichiri. That is why we are huh? How we are karanja? How we are wambua? So Ruto is fighting very hard. Azibe kila ministry, azibe mianya, kila parastat, anataka kuziba kwanza kabla aachilia bomb. And let me tell you, kama kuna watu watakosana vibaya sana Kenya hii, na mtakuja kuniambia ni hawa watu wawili. Ruto and Gashawa. I'm telling you for free. Either you take it or leave it. Wataenda kukosana, ata kuangaliana hawa taangaliana. Ruto is applying a script ya Uhuru Kenyatta in punishing the deputy. Unakumbuka, wakati Uhuru alikuwa in power, Ruto used to leak a lot of government information to the public. Regardi is doing the same to punish Ruto. Now, because Ruto has the powers, he will use the same powers to punish Regardi Gashawa and to cut off Regardi Gashawa completely from the government. Now Gashawa is going to be just a flower boy. Yeye ni kuonekana tu ni deputy. Yuko tu. Lakini the powers in government are going to be vested in different people. Huo ndio kweli wa maneno. I know. Wala watu mnaona siasa kwa jicho la tatu. You can agree with me that yes, the marriage is at stake. Na ikienda kuvunjika, it will be the worst than even the marriage between Uhuru Kenyatta and William. It is going to be the worst in this country. Na mutaandikisha historia. Anyway, that's the gentleman. I wish you the very best. Thank you for watching. And thank you for following me. God bless you. See you in the next video.